Hello. Hello, we're at the boat show. Very yeah. happy to be here. It's the exciting Annapolis already. sailboat show, yeah. Yeah, so we're here on the VIP media day, which is the day before the general crowds get in, which was is excellent because we're going to be able to look at the catamarans without a lot of lineups and, lineups and people in our way. Around. And I hold up the camera. This is the camera I'm going to be filming with. It's a wide angle lens, so we'll be able to get some really good footage of the boats inside and out. And we just finished the media event where they just talked about the various boats that are going to be here for the first time. And the most important thing about going to the media event was to meet Matt, who? Paul and Joe Shard. Yeah, from Distant Shores. With the press event, it's a good kickoff and start to the uh, five day show. Yeah, it's so. funny. We ended up in the parking lot beside them, and I look over and yeah. hey, I, I know those people. We bought their <laughs> DVDs. <laughs> Distant Shores. Yeah, years ago. And we yeah. recognize them. They've got great drone footage, <laughs> lots of fun information. There we go. So, very nice to meet up with uh, fellow vloggers and also fellow sailors. Sailors, and if you are looking for the best boat show, come on down to the United States Sailboat Show runs October 5th tonight. So, long weekend both in the U.S. and Canada. Yes, so. yeah. Right and they're like pioneers of the whole living on a sailboat and we've been and, watching their DVDs like yeah. long before we discovered yeah, the YouTube. Yeah, well, DVD, they were doing this probably before well, YouTube before, even yeah, existed. existed. Oh. So we bought their DVDs back years and years ago when we were just dreaming of getting a sailboat. And uh, it's funny to see these people in person that you've always seen on on TV. So. Anyways, check them out also at Distant Shores. They've now sort of migrated over to uh, YouTube and um, Vimeo. Well, they Vimeo. They have a Vimeo, Vimeo channel. Yeah. So check them out as well, but I'm sure you probably already know them yeah. if you're into sailing you're vlogs. Us, you probably see them. You probably know who they are. So, <laughs> anyways, so I'm gonna pan around with the other camera now and show you uh, what it looks like from up here in the uh, the perfect day in the balcony perfect weather. Yes, oh it's gonna be 29 degrees today. It's gonna be hot. It's funny. So we love it. Okay, here we are at our first set of catamarans. We're gonna compare, like we did last year, what we like and what we may yeah. not like so much about each grouping of catamarans, and it's on the criteria of comfort and livability inside more than obviously sailing speed right. or any of that because and utility living yeah all the utilities of life that I so just keep that in mind because we had a few people last year say yeah but that boat doesn't sail as fast as like a Nutramur or whatever yeah. other faster that boat. is not what we're in it for the most yeah. like that that's that's a feature faster, but it's yeah not, you know generally thinner longer boats go faster but we're here to say when we're at anchor, would this boat be comfortable to live on? And mm -hmm. our first set of boats is gonna be Fontaine Pajot. So from what I can tell, we have a Helia 44, a Saba 50, a uh, Lucia 40, and what's this one behind a me? Siona. Siona, I guess. Siona. Anyways, 47. we're gonna go in each one. We'll start at the smallest and then go bigger, bigger, bigger. And we'll tell you what we like and don't like. All right, follow along. Okay, so this is the first boat of the Fontaine Bajos, starting with the smallest. This is Lucia 40. And it's a sports seat, which means you're sitting halfway up. It's not a flybridge, you're not sitting way up at the top. So you'd be sitting here. And that's exactly what we want in a boat that we will buy. So that way you're sociable to the rest of the crew that's gonna be sitting probably down here or in the galley in there. And from here, you still have a pretty good view of both bows of your boat. You can see the wooden seats on the right on the left over there by Janice. So this is the perfect set up. You don't want a flybridge, that's sort of something we've ruled out. I'm on the uh, Helia 40. It's a kitten purchase. A nice trampoline sitting area. And that at the front. Oh, nice nice padded seats. I don't know if those are included, yeah. but... Probably not. Probably not, but nonetheless they are there if you want them. And the boom isn't super high. If you're standing up on top, you could probably easily work with the sails. Mm, mm, this, is, this is a good view here, the, the, the tow picture, oh so nice. We've always liked Fontaine Bajot. It's not quite as beamy as the lagoons we found in the past, but there's a lot of nice features on the Fontaine Bajot. One thing is that these hatches are flush, as you can see from the clip, flush with the uh, rest of the deck. And that's a nice feature, so you're not tripping over that. What are you filming there, my my love? Relaxing. Oh, you're relaxing. <laughs> Lots of room up here on the uh, rooftop for solar. Around here, there's a lot of empty space you wouldn't be using. And of course, most of the modern cats have a hard bimini over your back salon, outdoor salon. Nice wood table. It would seat at least six, probably eight, if you put seats on this side over here. And then a lounge seat for Janice to lounge in. I'll do some more relaxing. <laughs> Janice will do more relaxing. 
All right, so the next thing is let's go inside. Yeah, so this is the forward port side cabin. It's a kind of a triangular shaped bed. This is in the bow, you're gonna have that. You're not gonna have a full size. So it's perfect for a single person, but would be a bit too tight for two, I'm thinking. And of course you have a hatch right above you for light. And like all these boats, they have this nice, oh, if I can get it to work, there we go. Sunshade that will close if I had two hands, but. And they have the plastic snap wind windows to open. They seem to work okay. Is this the kind we had on the yeah, chartered? Familiar. It can be a little difficult actually sometimes. One or two can get a bit snug to snap sh shut. And you have a fan, of course every room has a fan. If the boat is has air conditioning, you probably don't use the fan, you know, when you're plugged into shore power, but when you're not, you're gonna need that fan. And this side shares a bathroom. So let's just go inside and check this out. Okay, so you have a separate shower, but no door. But there is a separate shower. Let me back up here. Then you have a sink and here, and then your head is on this side. It's kind of too dark for me to the light. There's a head on top. So separate shower, but only one bathroom per side. And this is the back cabin, and it is more typically a queen size bed. This is the main salon. This is a double sink. And a stove. And a gas, two gas burner, three gas burner. The galley counter is very nice. Like this, this corner is very cute. And uh, the stove and oven is set up nicely. I like the counter top. And the double sink. The corners are not rounded, which is disappointing because they used to have rounded corners. More fridge space. Oh, drawers. That's heavy. Or shelves. Individual fridge unit. So that's. And then these might be the fridge drawers right here. Yeah, I think sense. that's what it is. Yeah. Those so these are, really are nice and handy. So double drawer fridges, and then the top one seems to be the freezer. Yeah. And then you have your microwave just sort of sitting on a shelf here. And then a little flat screen TV on the, on the wall. And there's a, like most cat modern cats, there's a lot of light coming in because there's a lot of open windows. Windows big. This yeah. is my sister, and we're out visiting. So even for one of the smallest, you know, the Fontaine Bajos at the show, one thing I noticed with the modern cats is there's a lot of outdoor seating. They seem to be focusing on outdoor seating more than uh, indoor seating, and that's fine if you're in a tropical climate, but uh, maybe not so much if you're <laughs> in the northern U.S. and you have to put up with some cold days at sea. Okay, so we just finished on the first boat, the Lucia 40. What were your thoughts? Uh, too small for us. It is very pretty, but I noticed some things that I probably wouldn't be okay with for living. I mean, for chartering, maybe for yeah. sailing around, yes. If you're chartering and you just had your suitcase. Adequate. It's very huge. The, the bow is very nice. Mm -hmm. the, the seating area at the front with the, with the cushions to lie on. And the back, um, the back. Salon, salon, outdoor salon is nice. Area is yeah. nice. And the indoor sitting area, the salon and the, and the galley were very nice. But we found the, the berth a little bit yeah. lacking. There was like no cabin, a tree to be found almost. Yeah, the front berth is really meant for one person. It's a triangular bed, very, very narrow. No cabinetry at all in that room. The back room is a queen, but there's no cabinetry except for one little cabinet behind the main door. There's definitely not enough space for all the clothes you would have in a cabin. Well, the, the bow, of course, had a wee cabin behind the door, but it was oh, wee, did they? wee. Wee, wee tiny thing. Yeah. So it's meant, I guess, for chartering, because you, I guess then you might leave all your clothes in your suitcase and put yeah. your suitcase somewhere. And, and in, the, in the hallways, there were no closets. No. No cabinetry ever anywhere. I'm like, I guess they don't expect you to have anything more than a few bathing suits. So, yeah. yeah. Anyways. Not a liveaboard boat. That's the no smallest of the ones we're going to look yeah. at, so hopefully it gets better from here. Okay, so the next boat we're going to cover is the Helia 44. It's obviously going to be bigger than the 40 we just saw, so let's uh, let's check it out. Hopefully there's cabinets in these rooms. So we'll start with the outside. 
Again, it's a sports well, seat, so you're halfway up. If you want to come, which is the kind of seating we want. Be um, and so there's we'll a nice lawn similar to the last one. It's very, although they have an extra bench seat out here, so instead of just the back seating, you now have the front seating, and obviously there's storage underneath that. So that's a little nicer. Ah, but their hatches are raised. So the uh, particularly the all your winches are accessible from here. But the hatches on these ones, if you notice, are are raised, unlike flush ones on the other one. I don't know if this is an older design. So these are raised. Seats at the bows are a little bit smaller. Trampolines of good size though. And again, you wouldn't have any problem working on your sails. It's not that high above your, uh, your rooftop. And there would be plenty of room if you wanted to put solar up here. There's also some nice areas to lounge. And look good grab hand grab rails along the whole side. So if the seas are really choppy, you can walk along. Probably access to your, uh, your engines, if you want to work on your engines. So you can work on your engine without any problem at all. There's lots of room to get around it, so that's good. Our boat doesn't have that. So outside they seem to have, I'm guessing this is like an ice maker or a small fridge. Oh, it's an ice maker. Okay, so you have an ice maker out here. Very nice table area. Yeah, it's a very, very nice, nice table. Nice table. Lots very of, open. Like it's yeah. very big from here. It looks very big. <laughs> so this is your uh, up galley. Oven. Microwave. And a three burner stove. A double sink with one full size sink and one half sink. I prefer two full size sinks. And then you want to open these? Oh. I'm assuming yeah, they're, they're both fridges. Bigger. Yeah, they're much bigger than the one on the 40. Though. Yeah, so that's a fridge. Mm. And the one down below, I'm assuming well, is also a fridge. Some more fridge. Yeah. Some There's more wine. Many. I think they're planning a party. And then what's up here? Is there a freezer or anything behind that? Nope, just storage. Oh, there's got to be a freezer. There's got to be a freezer somewhere. Oh, it might be. No? Oh, well, we'll figure that out afterwards. So this is your indoor seating. And over there would be your nav station. I'm going down on the starboard side. So this is an owner's version. It's an owner's version. So on this side, on the owner's version, you have walk through hallway with your head is here, separate. So you can have somebody using the head. And then you have your sink with a mirror, of course. And then a separate shower. And I remember this from last year. Last year, the boat we checked out on one of these sides had an actual washing machine behind here. I think it might be locked. So we don't know what's behind there. More cupboard shelving underneath the sink. This is an owner's version. Oh, a giant closet. Is that Janet? Oh, okay, so the owner's version, you've got closets there. <laughs> you there and Hello. This is um, the owner's version. Uh, there's lots of cabinets. Like, a lot of, of sufficient cabinetry and storage. It's a small desk. Small stool, a nice uh, big bed, and access on either side. No shelves on the side. I would expect there to be maybe some shelving there, but whatever. Nice big and bright windows. And there's a hatch above also with the shade close. Even brighter if you want. Okay, so this is a cabin on the non owner side. This is the back cabin, so this is the biggest one. And we just talked to one of the sales reps to find out where the where you're supposed to be close. Because as you can see, there's no cabinetry on any wall. And then she said, it's under every time it's under the bed. So this is where you're supposed to put your clothes. So you've got this. And, this and, on, the, and on the bigger cabins, you have An extra, this. Like more adequate. Closet. This is on the 42. On the 40, they didn't have this. No. On the 42, you've got some cabinets in the hallway on this side, and you have some under the bed. This is actually, it seems to be a guest suite. Like this closes and this is all. Right. You're one right. guy gets all this okay. stuff. This is on the 44. Yeah. Only a 44. So this room has it, more yeah. more space because yeah. the hallway is sort of part of your bedroom. Yeah, and it has cabinets. And then you have a pretty side, wide area yes. here. Feels very spacious. Like they've obviously made a design choice that instead of a lot of cabinets along the walls for clothing, you're going to make it feel airier yeah. by having it big. But I like the shelves. Again, it's got the same wall finish which is 
like I feel like I could pinch it, you know, like like skin. Okay, so this is the forward cabin on the non-owner side. Yeah, it's what? much bigger than the yeah, 40. definitely an upgrade room for from two. The, yeah, the forty didn't have room for two. It was no. a very tiny bed. Uh, this one's room for two. Mm -hmm. I mean, Janice and I probably elbow each other to death, but it would work. Yeah. And then this is the head. Let me just slide in here. And it's got a separate shower, surprisingly. So you've got a separate shower, and then your sink, and then your toilet. So. The stove top. I love the big windows. I can happily work in this kitchen. The ceiling as well has two giant uh, sunroofs. And uh, makes it very bright. Oven. But as soon as it's like, it's going to be countertop. Sorry. So you close in the door, garbage fire fire, 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 fire. This opens up to be a pass through. Yeah. And, uh, okay. That's very comfortable, very open. Where your uh, cabinets in here? Lots of cabinets. Okay, that's the fridge unit. I gotcha. Yep, and it so has similar, different so yeah, yeah, shelves that come pull out. Well, so you don't have to worry about this is the, this is the fridge stuff flying out of there. Yeah, I love it. And then, so that's the fridge, and those are the freezers. Yeah, so those are the freezers. Yeah, there's a fridge out there. Yeah, bar. Okay, unless it's the one okay, so like every modern catamaran. This is where you spend all your time out here. No problem. No problem. No, no. I'm showing how the enjoyment of seeing here. You're perfect. You're my model. So this is a very nice boat. This is the Helia 44. Okay, we've just gotten off our second boat. We are socializing way too much with people. That, and I love it. It's fun. It's really. nice that we don't have to rush. We have three full yeah. days yes. to do what we want. We, we were, really we're, take our time. We're like, we're going to see all the boats on Thursday on the media day when there's less people here. And so far, two there's boats. still a lot of people. Yeah. And oh, it's like so fun. It was so fun. Somebody was at the yeah. top of the stairs was like, is that Janice? Yeah. <laughs> that Somebody's waving from nice another couple. boat. That's cruising off duty. Yeah. That's it's fun. Amazing. That was so fun. But anyway, so getting back to where we are on the second boat, which is the Helia 44. It's really nice. It's, it's a, a big improvement over the 40. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Definitely way more, more comfort, way more storage, yeah. way more amenities, bigger kitchen. I could absolutely yeah. uh, settle for that. <laughs> that extra size, the little bit of size makes a huge difference. Yes, there like, was so much room for more like complete cupboards, and it's an owner version, which is yes. what we want. We are going to live on the boat, and most of the time it's going to be just us. I want an owner's version of whatever we end up getting that is very high on the list of essentials. Yep. So, so the owner's version definitely has, yeah. because you only have one bedroom on that side of the boat, it was a, nice a lot more room, cabinetry. Tons of cabinets, yeah. a, a little desk area and big shower closets big bathroom yeah. so huge linen closets like helia 44 yeah. is definitely it's one on the, of the it's contenders on the list yeah. for sure now we'll probably love the next boat and the next boat even better because they're getting even bigger so yeah. The next one is a 50, a Saba 50. See you in there. Stay tuned. This is just part one of what will be a many part series as we got on most of the catamarans and we looked at them as to whether we'd want to live on them. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Keep in mind, we didn't really quote prices because the bare bones production boats come with nothing. You gotta add a lot more before you can live on board and the custom boats come fully loaded. We'll cover all that in the upcoming episodes, but until next time, this is Craig signing off, wishing you safe cruising.